Okay, so um, I didn't really do anything on the female character model, um, but here it is. Um, bit more of a feminine face, uh, no hair. Same sort of size as the male character model. Um, same kind of build as well, maybe a little bit slimmer. Um, it looks like I've got a massive beer belly at the minute. Well, I'm pregnant. Um, I won't take the clothes off because I'll keep it um, child friendly. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much to it. it. Hi guys, this is Spook and today I'm going over the new update in Rust. And uh, as you can see, that admins all get forced female character models now. Now before I start this video I'm going to say that I cannot censor nudity on the female um, character model. So I'm just putting that out there. So I'll try to maintain a pair of pants throughout the video. Okay, to start off we've got the... Um, like the uh, kilt for the road sign armor. So you've got two pieces now, as you can see here. Road sign kilt to go with the jacket. Um, still lots of holes you can shoot through. I'm not sure if um, the hitboxes register that. But yep. Uh, next up we have whatever this is. Wooden armor. So if you wanna blend in with the trees, just put some of this on, good to go. I, I really don't know why you would wear this. I I don't know. Uh, next up, kind of similar but bone armour. Even a bit more creepy. For the ultimate naked killer I guess, you could craft some armour out of the bones. Yeah, I'll um I'll look up the blueprint um, requirements to make them, and I'll let you know. Now, as you can see, that when you hold Alt now, left Alt, you don't look behind you. You hit, you can like free free cam look around, which is good. Because uh, you used to press it, you just still look behind you like that. Ah, oh, kind of, and it was pretty hard to use. So they fixed that. Um, they've added a whole heap of clothes. Uh, got quite a few more snow jackets now. Which is good. They're kind of bugged at the minute. They show up on the character, but not in the, um, in the inventory screen. We've got a white one. I've been looking for a white one for, for a while. So that's good. Uh, we have a few t-shirts. There's a... Gary's Gmod symbol on it, I guess. Oh, my pants have gone. Uh, we've got a red jacket. Ah, oh, this just this is quite a few um different clothes out, which is good because um there wasn't that many to be honest. Oops, got the rust symbol on the uh, uh, red T-shirt there. Heaps of different T-shirts. This adds a bit more depth into the game and everyone doesn't run around looking the same. Um, now they have added like a steam in inventory thing. Now I, I didn't read too much on it but from what I got there will be a few cross server recipes now. He, they're just going to start off with clothes and see how it goes and if, it, um, and if people don't like it I assume they'll remove it and if they do like it I, they'll build on it. Um, I think it's just with a red t-shirt and a few shirts at the minute. Now, in my opinion, cross-server recipe shouldn't exist. Because it just defeats the purpose of working towards things on a new server. But how uh, is just my opinion. Um, anything else? Now there is this thing called the accident book. Um, a story about how Gary messed up on the 16th of July 2015 and a bunch of people accidentally got this item. We can't read it, we can't do anything with it. Um, I'm not sure if players will be able to get it. It was just in the um, console admin list. Oh, and that's changed as well. It's much easier to use now. We've got pictures, um, blueprint arm 100 and 1000 as usual, and all this other different stuff. 
so yeah. It's quite a good update. Here's all the cloves they've added. I think I pretty much got all of them. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll leave it there for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.